Hello everyone, and welcome back to Thuringia. It's now the morning of the 15th of October, 1806. Seven o'clock. Usually I come here at six o'clock, because that's dawn. But I wanted to wait one hour to see the resolution of this combat right here. You all know that General Rochelle had gotten caught. Now, as you can see, General Weimar, off here, just a little bit up to the right, has run away. His morale is shattered, and his 10,000 troops are streaming back to Auerstadt, because they realize they can't make it all the way back to the north. Unfortunately, this turn, we just finished the second hour of Sax's combat, and that's what you see trapped in the middle. His men, too, have broken, and will begin to flee. The problem is that up there to the north of him, on that road are the troops of Marshal Morat, some of the best cavalry in all of Europe, and they are going to ride him down and do a fair amount of damage. However, the French have suffered a fair amount of fatigue, and the plan generally that I've been told from all the commanders, the plan I've been told generally from all the commanders, is that they want to rest here for the day now that their troops have been gathered together. Over here, we see the rat last remnants of the troops of Marshal de Vaux, who have made it to the Airfort Weimar Road. These are the troops of General Blucher. They're leaving. They're heading up here along this road, making their way up through Namburg, and eventually all the way there to that concentration. They seem likely to escape, as the pressure has been taken off them by the forces that were fighting them. Down here, that's Napoleon himself gathered around Saalfeld. His men intend to go north to that T-fork, one you see right there in the center of the shot, and eventually make their way up to Weimar. Marshal Bernadotte's men are making their way up to Jena itself. Over here, we have the forces of Marshal Ney, who are making their way up to Gera. And over here, we have the forces of Marshal Sue, who have resumed their march from, their march from Zwickau all the way up to Altenburg. Those troops are digging in and preparing to defend themselves, having marched significantly and needing a fair amount of rest. Up here, the forces gathered around Leipzig are also preparing to group together and prepare to rest. It's not too hard to see when you take a step back what the Prussians have in mind. Oddly enough, despite their crushing defeat here in the West, they still hold interior lines. The question going forward is whether the French will be able to coordinate their superior numbers in a way that allows them to attack and crush the, the Prussians that are holding against them. We'll see.